Okay, Fraliton City Hall. If I see the idiot mayor, I'll have to run fast. Go after him. <clears throat> so I went in that building first time in two years, close to two years last night. It was a man, Ryan Jones, nice of us, always talking about mental issues and mental illness, wants to help. His project, he's the guy that went to the South Pole. Last night I was all wound up, I said North Pole. But anyway, he, you know, like they give him uh, an achievement award and that was good. Now, I heard, which I've never been in there, that they put, they spent $15,000 on security for when they hold console on top, the gallery. $15,000 for security. I hear about it. I never went there. Last night, I decided to go have a look. So, I did. Right from downstairs, I noticed they got, what do you call it, earmuff or whatever, you know, what the Secret Service have. Why they have that there, I do not know. So, I walk in there with the Lieutenant Governor, that was funny. Side by side, the Lieutenant Governor, she just had, we just happened to come through the door at the same time. So they asked you, for the, which, where are you going? Second floor or third? Everybody that walks through the door is questioned immediately. So, Charles O'Blah is going to third floor. I go up, what I do, what am I met? I'm met by hate. A commissioner, remove your hat. Remove my hat. Nah, I don't think so. So, next thing you know, everybody downstairs was panicking. Some counselors were waving. The mayor, who the idiot mayor, <laughs> he was all he went. He was he was just he was very uncomfortable because the blogger was watching. Like I would cause a scene at an open council meeting, give them the opportunity to tell me, no, you're not allowed. You can't behave like everybody else. Okay, let's go back to the hat thing. So I was very. Everybody went there. Motorcycle clubs or. When there's a protest, everybody wears a hat in there. And if you met by somebody with attitude, you're gonna give attitude back. Is that the idiot? Not him? Nah. I'll get him. I'll get him sometime, sometime else. Okay. Sorry. So what happens? Um, after it was all over, I made my contacts. Guess what? In Moncton, during com uh, common council meetings, the audience, QP was there last week. They never removed their hats. St. John, you don't have to remove your hat. So the question is this, why Fredericton is the only municipality that forced people to remove their hat? Why? Because I'm gonna tell you why. Because of that idiot mayor that wants to be called Mayor Mike. Mayor Mike, that that title is served Supposed to be reserved for royalty. Queen Elizabeth, King Charles, a future King Charles, uh, King George V, Princess Diana. I'll remiss her. Anyway, so this idiot, when you want to go in the gallery, you will remove your hat because Mayor Mike is in the room. So, what needs to happen? We need a confrontation. So will happen here when hello a yeah. confrontation will Hi, happen after when the commissioner let's say there's something that happens next thing you know the commissioner everybody removed their hats we need the police to arrest somebody go to court and wondering how come ask the question 
why does Fredericton, the only municipality in New Brunswick, that you're in the gallery, that you have to remove your hat for his royal piece of shit, I mean his royal idiot highness, why? How come nobody know? how come the media is not covering this? Another issue, right quick, they're passing laws behind closed doors. For an example, if the media, if you want to call it media, citizens don't know what they're passing behind closed doors. It's called like a sub-sub-sub bylaw. The, they're passing stuff that's not even debated in public. They just go in there, okay, uh, can I get a second or a second it? Next thing you know, in two years from now, they'll see this law, and then they'll say, how did this pass? Oh, this was brought up in uh, 2020 on the night, blah, blah, blah. No debate, no nothing. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in that building behind me. And it was amazing how they were all panicking when I was there. So, let's find out what's going on about this hat thing and this mayor Mike. Idiot.